In uh, 1972, I found myself in the federal penitentiary at Terre Haute, Indiana. I was there for what I like to call an authorized withdrawal of funds from a federally insured financial institution with a 32 automatic. I was in a riot in my dormitory and got locked down for a week, two weeks. In the middle of the second week, they, they made an announcement. Anybody that wanted to leave the dormitory and go to a, a meeting put on by the Gideons could leave at that time. While I had traveled all over the United States and seen Gideon Bibles and hotels, I didn't pay any attention to the Gideon emblem. Uh, I kn knew, didn't know who the Gideons were, had no idea. But I wanted out of that dormitory after a week and a half, I was getting squirrely. So uh, I went to that meeting and there was a Gideon there by the name of Jimmy Klein. Jimmy told me that Jesus loved me. Uh, I said, Jimmy, you got the wrong guy. My mama don't even love me. What are you talking about? Jesus loves me. And he took me to John 3.16. And he says, Jack, your name is in that verse. I said, well, no, my name is Jack, not John. He said, no, that's not what I'm talking about. He says, you're a whosoever. They gave me a Bible, was, had the cover torn off of it. I could take that back to my dormitory and none of the other guys would know what I was reading. But I read that until I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Every Wednesday night, we would have a Bible study with those Gideons and they would mentor us in the Word. There were seven of us that accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Of the seven, six are now ministers and I'm, the, I'm a Gideon. 